Is she personally prepared to authorise a nuclear strike that could kill 100,000 innocent men, women and children? Yes. And, and I have to say to the honourable gentleman, the whole point of a deterrent is that our enemies need to know that we would be prepared to use it. What did you guys think? It's pretty sick, isn't it? How a leader of the civilized Western world in this 21st century can say nonsense like that. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> You know why I think people are okay with that? It's because Theresa May's a senile, cranky old woman and I think she just offer meds. And when you see old women, normally people are like, Son, you know what? Just leave Nan, she's a bit cranky pants, yeah? I think people know that the Prime Minister and President doesn't really do anything. It's the people behind them that are actually pulling the strings. So that's the case with Theresa, I think people are wisening up to the fact that she's just a cranky old woman that obviously has retired from a regular job in Royal Mail Postal Service so now this is a bit of a hobby she goes there has a bit of a laugh in the House of the Commons comes home sucking on a Werther's original and then it has a cup of tea and a few Maryland biscuits and then takes an early nappy nap if you actually look into it Theresa May is not the senile old a cranky pants woman that we think of because her husband Philip May he's actually on point because he's part of this in investment firm and he got a heads up from his wife that this invasion was going to happen so he invested in the arms company Lockheed Martin and he made an absolute killing but guys I thought this was a democracy mate I don't know what's going on because first of all she goes to war and she doesn't even tell me. That's not right because it's my, my money mate. Yeah, I'm a taxpayer. You can't take my money, bomb Syria and then say, Hey, we, got, we had to do what we had to do yeah, because bad stuff was happening. Bad stuff's also happening in Burma mate, Rohingya. No one gives a toss about them mate. Muslim women and kids are being raped in India mate. Yeah, Modi, the prime minister there doesn't give a toss. He's too busy on Twitter mate. Yeah. And what about Saudi? They're doing madness in Yemen mate but because they're allies of America no one gives a monkeys mate. There, there's a few things you don't know about Syria. Number one, they don't have any IMF debt mate. Yeah. Second of all, they stopped using the US backed dollar mate. Number three, they're very close with Russia. Number four, they got loads of oil reserves. There's that word again, oil. In other words, Syria is a wise country mate, yeah? America's cheesed off because they're on the side of Russia. So Donald Trump, who we know is a misogynistic, racist, megalomaniacal and a narcissistic, chimp-like human being who's managed to take a few minutes of tweeting, I was gonna say something rude there, uh, tweeting nonsense on Twitter, he's finally found a few minutes of and now he's decided to bomb a country. Mate, just leave him on Twitter, yeah? Just keep him on Twitter because he can't be trusted anywhere else. The Prime Minister is accountable to this Parliament, not to the whims of the US President. So guys, all I'm in essence saying is don't think that everything in the news is true. Watch Al Jazeera, watch Russia Today, watch Press TV. In other words, watch alternative news. Yeah, Listen to these guys who are speaking sense like Glenn Greenwald, Noam Chomsky, yeah, Max Kaiser. Don't take it from Islamophobe owned uh, Sky which is again run by another grandpa Rupert Murdoch and don't trust CNN and Fox. I mean Fox is something which is uh, pushed forward by Donald Trump. I don't know what's going on there mate. So in conclusion, wake the fish up guys. Don't spend your time on Netflix. Don't spend your time watching 100 episode series on some fictional nonsensical program or going to the cinema watching cars turn into robots. These are just things to distract you. Question what is going on around you. Be wise, educate yourself, your kids and those around you. Till next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum.